If you are one of those people that feel like they are meant for a big life, this video is for you. Today I'm giving you the official how-to guide on how to make your 2024 life binder so that you can dramatically and drastically change your life this year. good, but I just have a feeling that 2024 is going to be even better. This year, we are not playing around. I went through my phase of being that girl. Then this year, I feel like it really was my phase of being an it girl. Okay, okay, keep with me. But this next year, I am turning into, are you ready? That woman, the woman, the it woman. Might be doing too much, but you know what I mean, okay? Every year we're evolving, we're growing, we are not staying stagnant, we are ever changing and ever glowing upping. This year, it's time to plot again. We're in plotting season. If you don't know what that means, it means it is the time where you are doing the back work, the manifestations, the intentions, the vision boards, the Pinterest boards, literally all of that back end stuff that actually propels you into actually making the following year better than the last one. Before we continue, if if you haven't subscribed yet, my name is Fernanda. I make videos like this every single year. I love all things beauty, fashion, fitness, self-care, wellness, self-development. I have a podcast. Make sure you're subscribed if you're not already because I just know this is gonna be a good year for us. I stumbled across this idea on TikTok and it is called a life binder. Oh my God, where was this my whole life? I get the vision board hype, but this year we're not playing around. And if by the time you're watching this, you already made your vision board, it is not too late to create a life binder. If you do this, I'm just saying, you're gonna be, you're gonna be ahead of the curve. You're gonna be a few steps ahead of the competition not that there's anyone to compete with but ourselves but it's probably something that you didn't do last year therefore you actually are ahead of the competition you're ahead of last year before we continue I want to show you guys my 2023 vision board and tell you about all the ways that this actually happened this is what my 2023 vision board looked like I printed all these photos out I stuck it onto this just like canvas I have the video up on YouTube on how I made this so definitely watch that video from last year if you want to see that I just glued everything together I added some little gems I fine lined this all in like metallic markers and just to say the few of the things that happened. First of all, I got so many magazine covers where they named me the it girl on YouTube and I'll take it, I'll take it. I was verified this year. I went to a lot of brand dinners, which was my first time ever. I've been wanting to do that for such a long time. I also went to Costa Rica, I was in my yoga era. I did a lot of Revolve events, which was super fun and always great. I was in my health era. I spent a lot of time with my family. I picked up some books. I did so many red carpets, like this was me. Loki, this was me. This was really my year of like press, which was super fun, all that for the first time. I went to New York Fashion Week, was at a Revolve event that looked just like this. This was my first year receiving PR from designer brands and I got Prada, I got Dior. I was in a lot of magazines, which was super fun. I felt like I was really embodying my Marilyn Monroe energy. I went to Coachella. I didn't get to do Miami Beach, but that was because I chose not to, which was kind of stupid, but I was offered to go a few times. So this will definitely be in the vision board for next year. I was in Forbes in a photo with a designer from Brazil, which was really cool. I got my makeup and hair done professionally, had a lot of friendships. I even went to a designer event. The moral of the story is that vision boards work and they work every year for me. I feel like the things that I didn't get done on my vision board are things that are either in the process that will potentially happen in 2024 or things that I just didn't do because like it didn't align with how my year actually went, but it wasn't because it was out of my reach. I know for myself, vision Vision boards work, they work every year. If your goals are too big, you can even keep it for the following year because the goals all still apply. And making one just leaves you with such clear intentions so that you at least have a direction for how you want your year to go. Otherwise, if you don't make one, you'll just be floating, going through life. Nobody wants to be doing that. First steps first, we're gonna talk about supplies. I already did the honors of going to Staples the other day and getting everything that I need, so I'm gonna show you guys what I'm gonna use. And also, it just goes without saying, but you can do whatever you want with this. If you wanna do it a little bit differently, that is up to you, but this is how I'm gonna do it. The first thing that I got was a binder. I wasn't sure what size to get, but the one that I ended up getting is half an inch. I didn't want it to be too big to the point where it's kind of like ugly and like I don't even wanna carry it around. Like this is giving, I could bring this in a tote bag and it wouldn't be embarrassing. Not that it would be embarrassing regardless, but if it was 
like five inches. Like, I'm sorry, I'm not, I'm not carrying that. So this is the one I got. If you have a light pink one, adorable. If you have a black one, cute. I just went with a plain white one. The next thing that you'll need is blank pieces of paper so that you can print onto it. I'm gonna use Canva, do all my stuff on Canva, print it out. And since we're using blank pieces of paper, I did the honors to buy myself one of these and this is giving adulting. It was time I got one for myself and this is a three hole punch. So we can make little holes and you know, make holes to our little paper. If you're in school, you probably have a teacher that has one of these. The next thing that I bought, again, you don't need this, but I was like, I'm already at Staples, I'm just gonna do it. I bought sheet protectors. This is so that I can make my pages like super crisp, they won't get damaged. It just looks a little bit more professional. The other thing that I bought was dividers. Not sure if I'm gonna use these yet. As of right now, I feel like this is all I need because a lot of what we're gonna do involves using Canva and like our online artistic abilities. If you have an iPad, I'm jealous of you because you could be doing and all the cutie little designs on there. Wonder Canyon Rose going nowhere. So reception. Okay, I'm officially sat at my desk. I opened up three browsers. We've got Pinterest, Canva, and Notion. I'm gonna use Notion to plan out what I want to have in my life binder, as well as a little notebook in case I wanna jot down ideas for how I want the pages to look. And then, of course, Pinterest, the most useful because that's where I'm gonna be getting my photos from. And then Canva, of course, because that's where I'm going to be making my cute little pages. Canva's just so helpful, it is so useful. You can literally search up planner outlines and it'll come up with so many examples for you. You could search up vision board template and I bet you there's something there. Like it's literally such a helpful tool. I'm going to screen record my screen so I can show you guys what I'm doing. Honestly, at this point, straight up, I don't know what I'm gonna do yet. I know I wanna make a vision board for the front. I have so many stickers so this could be really cute to use on the front as well let me play around and see what I want to do and then we'll move on from there I'm also gonna play some music so that I can just vibe out and you know feel excited I put a candle on and I already feel the good vibes going I set my crystals out and the vibes are high friends it is the next day I went to bed is so late last night doing the perfect vision board little thing and so woke up this morning it's sunny you guys do not understand I know that I complain all the time about the fact that it's never sunny in Vancouver but like no I have not seen blue skies in a month Seeing the blue sky right now, it's giving me vitality. I'm feeling good, I'm feeling great. And you know what? I'd love to start 2024 on this wonderful note. Like, do you see that freaking cloud? It's trying so hard, but please tell it to go away. We need, we need blue skies. So far, I'm liking the way this is turning out. I hope that it is how I want it to be. I'm gonna change a few little photos and some text and then just start printing. a vibe is it a vibe <gasps> that's embarrassing i left a little dot there okay well that's awkward bit better because it was actually the whole page the other ones were kind of like I think it's nine by six but it's fine <laughs> I'm 
floor and everything is so messy behind me, but pretend you don't notice. I'm gonna start hole punching. Cute! Now they're all hole punched. I'm gonna start putting them in here. How cute is this looking? Adorable. Love. Okay. Now I'm just gonna make my actual vision board for the front. Yesterday I went on Pinterest and I saved a bunch of photos to my iPhone. So I think I'm actually just going to make it digitally like instead of cutting them out and putting them on the time has finally come I think it's time I give you a tour of the life binder I feel like this is a work in progress like I'm gonna keep updating this as the year goes on but it's basically it's it's like finished like this is it I'm planning on keeping this beside my bed I want to bring it in my bag when I go to coffee shops I want to keep it beside my desk just something to look at and reference or even to look at as a guide before Sam going on a trip and I want to recenter my mind that is the goal. So first off, we have the front cover. In here, I have my original vision board. I put so many photos of the vibe that I want for the year because I think that's important too, as well as very specific goals and photos, like things that I can envision for myself. Now, one thing I will say when making vision boards is that you have to practice the law of assumption and the law of detachment. So assume that this is all gonna happen, but also I'm detached from it. If it happens, it happens. If it doesn't, it wasn't the right timing. It's not that deep, it's just like a little, it's a vision board, it's what you want your vision to look like if it doesn't happen there's so many years to come so it's fine but just to say a few of the photos that I have on here I have photos of me doing a lot of public speaking I really want to do more of that this next year you know with the podcast maybe doing a live podcast the tour thing I don't know I don't want to say too much because like what if it happens what if it doesn't happen I don't know I have some photos of some designer bags that I want to purchase I have some photos of some money I'm in my ambitious girl year every year being a CEO but also I have photos of like embodying feminine energy and just being soft and not in my masculine CEO energy a lot of photos with friends and just having fun I feel like fun is a big thing for me so you know going to concerts traveling partying obviously you know keep that to a minimum because i want to be more put together this year but that does not mean cutting out the fun stuff that i enjoy doing like dancing and getting ready and going out and being in loud and crazy environments i also have some photos of some modeling i think doing some more photo shoots would be really fun i put a picture of a planner and like a ipad because i want to be more organized and just really work on my time management this year i have some photos of some girlies sleeping because good sleep is really important to me at least I want it to be. Photos of me in water, photos of Pilates. I have a little ballerina. I really wanna to go to Europe this year. Some reading, just so many things. I even have a little apartment. I'm thinking of like maybe moving. Anyways, 
we'll see as we open it up i have a whole bunch of different sections here i have mentality lifestyle career physical self and spirituality so you guys saw i made little vision boards for every section and they just have like funny quotes photos things that really resonate with the theme of the section and then i added a little quote underneath so for mentality i put act like the person you want to become we got marilyn monroe in there for the marilyn monroe effect older wiser and hotter than ever my only competition is my potential confidence is a mentality own that shit i am limitless everything works in my favor i have to be successful because i like expensive shit old keys won't open new doors and nothing changes if nothing changes so that is me bad bitch confident marilyn monroe alexa demi bella hadid <laughs> that is me she is that woman then my next sheet is a bunch of affirmations now i looked on pinterest for affirmation ideas and i wrote the ones that i feel like really resonate with me or the ones that i really want to embody this next year i chose a lot of affirmations that have to do with the energy that i want to embody the kind of person that i want to be affirming my health my gratitude that i am full of passion and that there are so many things out there for me and opportunities and that i am wealthy and a money magnet and i see the best in people etc 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 i love this page i want to like read these like every single day and just do affirmations more often then I just have one more sheet that I actually drew myself and this just says books to read in 2024 non-fiction recommendations to glow up my mind because this is the mentality section they're basically all into books that have to do with like self-help and psychology and self-development self-improvement there are some classics on there a lot about spirituality a lot about having a wealthy abundant mindset and then after that page i just have a whole bunch of white blank pieces of paper and i added blank pieces of paper to every section just so that if i ever want to write something down do some doodles add some pages i have that there the next section we have is lifestyle the quote for this is i'm creating my dream life and i have a whole bunch of photos regarding how i want my life to be which again is very fun with self-care some traveling making a lot of money getting that designer tings i don't even think i'm really like that superficial in the sense of like brand names and getting designer but i like the idea of being able to and upgrading and being classy so anyways that's there and also a lot of organization then we start a new page okay this is my goals sheet i really love the way that i did this i made this on canva you guys saw me do that and i have a bunch of goals for the year this is my lifestyle new year's resolutions for 2024 i have a whole bunch honestly i will say i showed this to my friend and she was like oh my god you have a lot of goals but like yeah that's the point right i feel like if you can't think about resolutions or you can't think of that many or like ones that work for you like literally look it up make some goals for yourself i'm a very i think ambitious person and i think i operate better when there is a goal in mind it's almost really hard for me to want to do things unless there's a little reward there. It's kind of really satisfying to take those boxes off for me. Some of them are pretty general as well. So they're kind of just things that I want to be doing throughout the year. But for example, the one that says read 12 books, whenever I do that, I can just go and cross it off with a little pen. So I have read 12 books, go to sleep earlier and improve my sleep quality and duration, develop better time management skills, be a better texter because I take so long to reply on my phone sometimes, be a better CEO and leader, spend more quality time with loved ones, be a better gift giver, travel to Mexico, plan a trip with my family, travel to Europe, go on a ski trip, go on a cabin trip, go to Miami, move to a new apartment, potentially, less screen time, and host more at home. And I added some photos that have to do with the lifestyle. And then I have another little DIY page here, and it says how to hack mood. So it's like a bunch of different things that increase your dopamine. Next section is career. I have the quote, everything I desire desires me back. I don't want to fully tell you guys my career goals because I don't want anyone to jinx it and I want I you know you know you know but just to give you guys some ideas if you're an aspiring content creator or you just are curious I put a lot of goals regarding subscriber milestones follower milestones certain brands that I want to work with certain accomplishments I want to make in terms of income projects I want to release some little like bucket list things I want to do and like of course like more photo shoots more red carpets more magazines more interviews like all of that kind of stuff is just really fun I made a monthly career goal for January honestly this page looks really ugly but I want to do one for like every month because I used to do this all the time like when I was doing my first year of YouTube I would track down what my follower count was currently and then I would look to see like how much I gained the previous month so say I gained 30k last month then I could see kind of what was achievable for me and then say okay this month I'm gonna try to grow 35k more so that's kind of what I did there so I put all my stats for my current social medias and then what I want it to be by the end of January so then 
then on February 1st, I can see if I accomplished any of those and then do the same thing for February, what I'm currently at and what I wanna be at at the end of the month. And that also kind of motivates me to post more when it's like 10 days until the month ends and I realize I'm not close to my goal. I'll be like, shit, and then I'll like, you know, go faster. I really do think that that helps and helps you grow so much faster when you have like a clear vision and purpose. I also put some specific goals at the bottom, like hire an editor, hire a social media assistant, four podcast episodes, four main channel videos, finish my website, one to three TikToks a day, and minimum 10 snaps a day. That's a lot, but like, that's the goal. Next section is called the physical self. These are the resolutions and goals that I have for myself this year in terms of the way that I want to look. So the first one says to complete the 75 hard. I want to become a better runner. My heart health low key needs it. I want to cook at home more often. I want to become yoga certified. I want to become better at ballet. I want to drink more water and reduce sugary drinks. I want to go skiing five times, be consistent in the gym, get monthly facials, drink tea in the morning to de-bloat, prioritize self-care, get monthly facials, go in the sauna once a week. I did this page, a little drawing, and they're just glow up plan tips. So whenever I want to glow up, I can just look at this and be like, okay, I need to drink more green juice. I need to floss. I need to do this. I need to do that. So I did sections for hair, teeth, eyes, skin, and body care. And then I have way more pages at the end. So if I want to add something else or use photos from Pinterest, I can print them out and put them in here. The last section that I have is the spiritual self. Now disregard this if you're not into spirituality. This is what works for me and I feel like what I enjoy. I put a little caption there that says energy flows where intention goes. And the first page that I have on here is some spiritual goals. I put become consistent with meditation, become consistent with gratitude every morning and night, care for people better, have more self-control, give more slash be more selfless and tap into my feminine energy more. So be more self-connected, gentle, soft, accept help, less stress and prioritizing me. The next page that I have here are some tips for feminine energy. I just saw these on Pinterest and I thought that I would print them out because they're just so cute. It's just like things that you can be doing and, and I put some cutie little memes on there. Make me smile. The next page I have, this is so random. Low key, it looks like I was on drugs when I did this, but I wasn't. <laughs> I was so bored and I had all these new pens spread out on my desk. So I was like watching a movie the other day and I was just like drawing this. And I talked about this in one of my podcast episodes. If you haven't listened to it, I have a podcast episode called How to Raise Your Vibration or How to, how to Become Like a Higher Vibrational Human Being, whatever. Basically, these are a bunch of tips on ways that you can become higher vibrational. I have like do gratitude, meditate, breath work and yoga, eating high vibe food, reducing and eliminate alcohol and toxins and processed food, thinking positive thoughts, high vibe content consumption and music, being in nature, self-care and good sleep, feeling high vibrational feelings and emotions. And yeah, that's just a fun little reminder for me. And then I also put this little vibration chart, which I like to look at. You wanna be on the top part of this little like triangle. When you're feeling these feelings, you're down here. So it's kind of like a reminder that like, I wanna be on the feelings up here and like the things that I have to do to be there so that I'm a high vibe so that I can spread a high vibe and that I attract high vibe things. I think that's all that I have in my book. Oh, and then at the very end, I just slid this into the little pocket that I have here, but this was like a little, I don't even know what this is, but I got this the other day at like the bookstore and it's basically like a chakra map if you know about chakras and stuff. And it's kind of cool because it will tell you like if there are certain things that you're experiencing like fatigue it'll tell you what chakra that is rooted to things that you can do to fix it and balance it and you know it's all balancing chakra stuff that is what my life binder looks like i'm so excited to use this religiously and i feel like this is really going to give me the inspiration that i need again i'm going to re-say this but if you want to do monthly goals i think that they're way easier to accomplish than just setting intentions at the beginning of the year and hoping that you're going to get them done because i bet you in three months from now you're you're gonna forget about them. So this is my vision for the year, but again, I will be making monthly goals so that I stay on track. If you guys are still listening to this video by this point, first of all, comment this emoji down below because you guys are the best. And the second thing is that I have two more videos in regards to this kind of new year, new me series, I guess. It's not really a series, but they all kind of go hand in hand because this video was all about my vision and how I want the year to go. But the next video is gonna be on glowing up for the new year and the things I'm actually gonna do to feel better 
better going into this year. And then the third video is going to be how I'm going to plan my year to be successful and productive because I bought a whole bunch of new planners and I want to make a habit tracker. I want to clean my apartment. I want to just set myself up for success. I know that it's already the beginning of 2024 and like maybe you're thinking like I should have been doing this in December, but personally December is all about Christmas, New Year's, spending time with family. January is a healing month and it's my month of getting my shit together. So I am totally okay with doing all this in the first week of January and I'm also thinking of starting the 75 hard and I really want to vlog that for you guys. So keep in touch. Stay tuned. There's so many things happening and yeah, I'm hiring a lot of people. So hopefully my shit will get together and I just have a lot of content for you guys. But yeah, I also want to say that I put my vision board as my wallpaper on my phone and it's going to be my wallpaper for my computer as well. So I'm going to be seeing it every single day. I'm just really excited about this year. So many good things are going to happen and I hope that this inspired you to make a life binder. I love you guys. I will talk to you later.